My name is Salim al Haq. I'm a director of the International Center for Climate Change and Development at the Independent University of Bangladesh, and also a senior fellow at the International Institute for Environment and Development based in London. My sincere apologies for not being able to join you in person. I would really love to be there, but unfortunately I'm not able to join you. Uh, what I propose to talk about is work that I do uh, at the community level on adaptation, community-based adaptation. I've been doing this for many years. I organize a, an annual event, international conference on community-based adaptation, um, working with some of the most vulnerable communities around the world. And uh, last year at the 10th annual conference on community-based adaptation, we focused on the issue of measuring adaptation, which is, as you all know, not a trivial question at all. And we had a lot of discussion and debate and um, primarily we had a, a debate between a top-down and a bottom-up approach. The top-down being a very donor-driven approach of uh, asking how funding for adaptation is being spent and then showing that the funding is being spent for adaptation and not for development. Uh, whereas from a bottom-up approach from the vulnerable communities, it isn't so much about money being spent but about how communities can be given greater resilience, greater knowledge, greater adaptive capacity. And so my work focuses mainly on how to enhance and then measure adaptive capacity at various scales. At the community scale is one, at the household scale would be others, even the individual is another scale. And then we can aggregate to towns, cities, countries even, and you could look at adaptive capacity across the world in different countries. And I would argue if you do that, then a few countries are actually ahead of the game, and these are not the, the most developed countries in the world. In fact, some of the least developed countries like Bangladesh, and perhaps Ethiopia, and Kenya, and Tanzania, are well ahead in terms of building their adaptive capacity because they are tackling the climate change problems on the ground and learning how to do it. So one of the biggest things about learning how to do adaptation is it's a learning by doing process. You have to do something, learn what works and doesn't work, and then build on that. And since some of the poorest countries, some of the poorest communities have been trying to learn and do uh, for perhaps somewhat longer than the developed countries, they have actually acquired better knowledge and better know-how and gone up what I call the learning curve or the learning ladder in terms of enhancing their adaptive capacity. And so for me, the elements of adaptive capacity, knowledge, awareness, training, experience, these are critical elements in taking us forward to enhance adaptation capacities, abilities, uh, actions within countries and across countries at the global scale. Uh, scaling up to the global scale is much more difficult. It is uh, not easy to add up apples and oranges, but we should be able to find ways in which we can find some metrics, uh, particularly on adaptation capacity, that we should be able to use and scale up and aggregate across different scales up to the global scale. And I hope that this meeting in Marrakesh and leading up to the Conference of Parties in Marrakesh in a few weeks' time, mm -hmm. we should be able to take this issue further and be able to develop it so that we can have a common metric for looking at adaptation in all countries at all scales.